Hey everyone, how's it going? So Nexon has been loosely using the term random for years. This has led to several false expectations by the community and KMS is doing a lot to address these issues. GMS, on the other hand, has not, and I feel as though it's in our best interest that we speak up. While KMS has been revealing a lot of the rates, uh, GMS has kept quiet on the issue. Tickets sent regarding this problem have been met with the eternal, we're looking into it. From a programming standpoint, it's not that hard to just look at the rates and tell us. The monitoring system, on the other hand, that can wait. But the problem with the disclosure, it needs to be addressed now. I really hate how ever since we've gotten the compensation for this problem, players have just accepted it and move on, when we never really address the core issues that caused this problem in the first place. So here are some things that we need cleared up, disclosed, and released on Nexon's part. Tier up rates for cubing. We are aware that they're different from KMS's, but we don't really have an official statement. As far as we know, they're higher than in KMS, and there's also no explanation as to why. Line weighing for cubes. We have no idea if they are the same for KMS or not. Familiar potential probability. There's data mined information that has been leaked that these are weighted and player sentiment seems to agree with it. If it is indeed weighted, then it needs to be disclosed. Familiar red card tier up rates. Similar to cubes, we have no information about this. Scroll probabilities. KMS has been working on this and it's time that GMS do the same. And we also have no idea on the line variance for chaos circulators. And last but not least, an updated justification as to why certain lines cannot appear multiple times inside of the cube. Assuming of course the rates are the same as the ones revealed for KMS. It had something to do with the intended game balance at the time, but times have changed and we would like to know if Nexon still stands by that decision. I feel like there are also several non-KMS topics that I would like to see included, although it's not strictly as important as the ones mentioned previously. I think Nexon would stand to benefit from addressing the removal of content without the removal of items gained from said content. This includes, of course, changes, and I'll start with the first one, Gullix. Although balance reasons have been claimed, the difficulty change for obtaining Gullix accessories I feel has not been properly addressed. With how much longer these things require to obtain, the change just ended up making existing players stronger with the ability to acquire more rings and more replacements for rings, while causing a drastic shift in the meta for everyone else. This was sort of mitigated by the removal of one pendant from the set, but I don't think think they did that with the design process in mind. They were just trying to copy changes from KMS. The next point would be badges. The existence of unobtainable badges with potential predating the removal of Singapore is still a controversial change. And while they did state that this change was made with balance in mind and that they wanted to minimize the impact of this change by not giving badges attack past 15 stars, there is still a significant power difference. I had a whole video where I rambled about this and you can go check it out if you want to. Another point would be familiars. While not directly removed content, the rollout of familiars Familiars featured a 49 hour and a half in which people could farm familiars at unintended rates. I put unintended in quotations because originally they were intended but when they fixed it they were not intended. These rates were nerfed but people who farmed these familiars at these rates got to keep their familiars. This is a further issue in Reboot where the inexistence of red familiar cards makes it very hard to reroll potentials. There is no clear justification as to why red cards don't exist in Reboot, and it would be a help to close the gap between lucky and unlucky players, as well as provide another mesosync. Another point is Lab Server. While Lab Server was technically a one-time event that offered a Legion piece to anyone who participated, it is essentially a 35 attack and 5 grit slot Legion piece, even if you didn't reach 250, which was the intended reward for reaching that level. The server in which this originated, TMS, has had a second running of this event and still no word from GMS. I would also like to point out that if we do get this event back, I hope that they keep in mind this accidental reward that they gave to players and tune their new event accordingly and not to their intended original standard. For example, you had to reach 250 to get this bonus. 250 at the time was level cap. I'll hope that when they make this new reward, they don't expect people to reach 275 to get this reward, or 300 for that matter. My next two points are not exactly things that got removed from our server, but things that are 
different in GMS and KMS that have not been addressed or even brought up. The first one would be Maple M. To those of you who are unaware, in KMS playing Maple M is more than just mileage or in our case reward points. Achieving certain milestone levels in Maple M offers you a Legion piece that you can use and it doesn't count towards the max player count. There is no word as to why our Maple M doesn't work this way and it would be nice to have some confirmation on Nexon's part. And lastly, star forcing costs. There is a very big gap when it comes to star forcing in GMS compared to every other server. And Nox, in case you don't know him, he has made a very good video on the topic and I suggest you to check it out. But to sum it all up, star forcing costs are higher in GMS specifically out of all servers and there's no real reason given for it. In that video, he speculates as to why that might be the case, but there is no official word from Nexon. In general, I would hope that whenever non-KMS content gets added, changed or removed, Nexon states as to why why it's being done, what ramifications it'll have, and what is being done about those ramifications. As far as non-KMS content is concerned, the reason for everything seems to be unfocused, unclear, and sometimes feels as though developers have no idea what their actual intentions are. I hope that the community keeps pushing for these things to be brought up, these things to be addressed, especially the queuing rates and everything that KMS is doing that we as GMS players would hope GMS does as well. As a side note, I never expected expected my rant on badges to blow up the way that it did, and I'm very happy that people enjoyed it. I'm the kind of person who likes to rant about things, and it makes me very happy to know that people enjoy listening to it. That being said, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.